so we have no reason to think that the COVID vaccine would have increased side effects or other safety concerns in patients with cancer in comparison to the, the population in which it was studied. It is worthy to mention, however, that patients with active cancer and underlying conditions that are associated with a suppressed immune system were not included in the clinical studies that evaluated the current COVID-19 vaccines. That said, thousands of people were enrolled in the clinical trials, and now over 30 million Americans have already received the vaccine. So we have a really good sense of what the side effects associated with the vaccine are. Certainly cancer patients are receiving a broad range of uh, different treatments, some of which have maybe similar, similar or overlapping side effects to the vaccine. So it's really important that you know what those side effects are um, and think about those. They are really quite similar to the side effects we see with other vaccines like the flu vaccine or shingles vaccine. The common ones include some pain, swelling, tenderness around the site where you get the shot, some low grade fevers, maybe chills, tiredness, you might feel, you know, your muscle, you know, kind of achy and, and have some uh, pain or headaches. But generally speaking, these symptoms are mild to moderate, and they may start within a day or two of getting the vaccine and typically, typically resolve in a couple of days, um, and oftentimes are a little bit worse with the second dose of the vaccine versus the first dose of vaccine. Overall, we think that serious side effects are very rare in association with the vaccine, and we have no reason to think that these serious side effects would be more common in a patient with cancer as opposed to someone in the general population. And then I'll kind of close this with saying that when we think about the risks in, in terms of side effects associated with the vaccination and the potential benefits of vaccination in patients with cancer, we strongly recommend that patients in can with cancer receive the COVID vaccine for all the benefits that we think that it will provide.